What's happening? This is Corey Wong. I'm here to introduce the Wong Compressor. If you're somebody who's been looking for the most versatile compressor that's ever existed on the market for guitar or bass, something that can plug into your amplifier or direct into a console, this is the compressor for you. This is not your father's compressor, okay? Back in the day, he was using a compressor that had what? Two knobs on it? This one is made for the modern player who seeks the analog tone of the past. See how I, how I, how I motion towards? I hope you got that. I, got that. I, I hope you got I that. The board in the background. Okay, okay. Wampler and I have designed this pedal to be a compressor and boost and DI. You have attack, tone, sustain, volume, blend, and boost. Talk about versatility. The attack knob determines how fast the compressor responds. The tone knob is gonna help you shape the bright, dark characteristics of the tone that's coming out of your instrument. Absolutely essential if you're somebody who plugs into different amps all the time, but wants a consistent tone. The sustain knob, this is for all you lead players. I know many of you are looking for that sustain, you're looking for that tray, you're looking for that satch. This is gonna give you that. The volume knob couldn't be more simple. It controls the volume. Now, I think that all the best compressors in the world have a blend knob. A lot of people like to play with a fairly compressed signal, but just blend it in a little bit. The blend knob is gonna mix in your dry signal with your compressed sound. That's parallel compression for those of you studio folks who are obsessed with parallel compression, like myself. I'm one of those people that if I only had one pedal I could use, it'd be a compressor. I will stand by that for the rest of my life. But for those of you that want a little more fun on your pedal board, we put a boost knob on here. There's two options to this boost knob. You got the flat response, which is just gonna be a straight up decibel boost that you control with this knob, or you can hit this switch to change the characteristics to be more of a mid bump boost. A lot of lead players are looking for that sort of thing because they want the characteristics of let's say a tube screamer or a more mid range heavy amp, but you don't want all that drive that goes with it. If you're somebody who likes the clean guitar tones of Prince, Nile Rodgers, if you're a bass player who plays direct a lot, this compressor has an XLR out. We're looking at a DI box here. Okay, folks, you can plug into your amplifier. You can plug directly into the console. That's that Prince, Nile Rogers, Corey Wong with Wolfpack sound that you're gonna get using this compressor. We've even got a ground lift. You got a hum, you don't want it, hit this button. If you're somebody like me who wants the compressor on all the time, doesn't wanna worry about the tap dance, accidentally turning your compressor off, guess what? I've got an always on button right here. You hit this button, that compressor always stays on. That sucker's locked in. That sucker is locked in. If you've heard me play clean guitar, a lot of the thickness in my sound is because of the compressor. I have scoured the depths of the universe for every type of compressor that could be used on a guitar. I've used the outboard gear. I've used the consoles. I've used all the pedals that exist. I have a drawer at my house with 43 compressor pedals in it. One of the things that I've found in common with all of the best compressors is that they don't take your tone and squash it down. What Brian Wampler and I have worked on here is to find a compressor that will take that dynamic range tighten it up and make it actually feel fatter and fuller. One of the other fun things about a pedal is getting to decide what it looks like. So for the design, we asked my good friend James Edmondson from Oh No Type Co to come up with a custom design and logo. You may know him as the creator of some of your favorite fonts out there, including Wolf Mono and Wolf Sans. You might ask me, Corey, how do you know whether the compressor's on? How do you know whether the boost is on? How do you know if they're both on? Check this out. You wanna know if the compressor's on? green light. You want to know if the boost is on? Blue light. You want to know if the compressor and the boost are on? Purple light. <laughs> Could there be a better compressor on the market right now? The answer is no. This is the best. Wow. I, I want to buy another one. I didn't even one. play the guitar. Yeah, I, you want to This pedal is available today. Just go to any dealer that sells Wampler pedals. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow,
Oh, 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 oh,